you want to know what each one actually works, if you're only changing one that's burst, it's actually marked R, P, D, N, L, S. Um, one or two of the others are also marked, but I haven't worked out what they mean yet. Um, we've got another bunch there for the uh, warning lights that come on when something goes wrong and or when the ignition check happens. One there. You will find holes, so uh, I wouldn't worry about it. You've got a hold light there as well. So uh, just basically fits in. Just turn it till it's horizontal. That's fairly straightforward, isn't it? There we go. I've got the dose of the Tina Heaths. So that's uh, and there's the uh, interesting extension to the coolant sensor. Uh, light that was um, wired up without any slack in it and I believe um, the installation procedure has been modified since I did a bit of complaining but you see this isn't designed for bending so we've got to be careful with it, you really have so right, I'm going to put the last bulb in I've got ten bulbs in the packet so I might change some of the others as well and basically, um, as they say in the Haynes manual Refitment is the reverse of removal. So there we go. That's it really.